Question 1. What is ecology? Answer. Ecology is the field of biology that studies the relations between living beings and between living beings and the environment. Question 2. What are species? Answer. Species is the set of living beings able to cross among themselves generating fertile offspring. This concept however does not apply to individuals of exclusive asexual reproduction and other definitions have been proposed. For example, species is a set of living beings that evolve in a common manner all of them considered ancestors of the same type in relation to common descendants. Question 3. What is a community? What is the difference between the concepts of community and population? Answer. Community is the set of populations of living beings that live in the same region and interact with each other. In ecology population is a set whose members living in a given place in a given time are part of the same species. Community is a set of populations of different species living in a given place in a given time. Question 4. What is the difference between ecological niche and habitat? Answer. Ecological niche is the set of peculiar activities, resources, and strategies that a species explores to survive and reproduce. Habitat is the place where the species lives to explore its ecological niche. In other words, it can be said that habitat is the address of the species and the ecological niche is the profession of the species. Question 5. What are autotrophic beings? What are heterotrophic beings? Answer. Autotrophic beings are those that can produce their own food, i.e., that make organic material from inorganic compounds. Heterotrophic beings are those that need to incorporate organic material to nourish them. Therefore, heterotrophs depend on the production of the autotrophs. Question 6. What are the processes that autotrophic beings use to produce organic material from inorganic substances? Answer. Autotrophic beings make organic material by photosynthesis or by chemosynthesis. There are photosynthetic autotrophs, like plants, and chemosynthetic autotrophs, like some bacteria. Question 7. What are the typical vegetation and the typical fauna of the tigers? Answer. Tiger or the boreal forest is characterized by coniferous trees, pine forests. There are also mosses, lichens, small bushes, and angiosperms. In the tiger many mammals, like moose, wolves, foxes and rodents, migratory birds and great diversity of insects are found. Question 8. What are deciduous trees? Answer. Deciduous trees are plants that lose their leaves in a period of the year. In the case of the deciduous of the temperate forest, the fall of the leaves occurs in the autumn. The loss of leaves is a preparation to face the cold months of the winter. Roots, stem and branches are more resistant to low temperature and snow than the leaves. Without leaves the metabolic rate of the plant is reduced. The decaying fallen leaves help to nourish the soil. Question 9. What are the typical vegetation and the typical fauna of the tropical forests? Answer. In the vegetation of the tropical forests, broadleafed evergreen trees predominate. On the top of the trees, epiphytes and lianas grow. Many varieties of pteridophytes can be found in these forests. Regarding the fauna, the abundance and diversity is also great. There are monkeys, rodents, bats, insectivores, felines, reptiles, aves, amphibians, and invertebrates, mainly insects. Question 10. How can the abundance and diversity of living beings in the tropical forests be explained? Answer. The biodiversity of these ecosystems can be explained by the great availability of the many biotic factors for photosynthesis. Since these factors are abundant, plants can perform maximum photosynthetic activity, living and reproducing easily. With great amount and diversity of producers, autotrophs, the consumers, heterotrophic animals and microorganisms also have abundant food and a complex food web emerges creating many different ecological niches to be explored. So it is possible the appearing of varied living beings as well as the existence of large populations. Question 11. Why the tropical forests are also known as stratified forests? Answer. In tropical forests, tall trees of several species have their crowns forming a superior layer under which diverse other trees and plants develop forming other inferior layers. From the upper layer to the inferior layers the penetration of light lowers gradually and the exposition to wind and rain. The moisture and the temperature vary. Different compositions of abiotic factor condition the prevailing of different vegetation in each each layer. 
Question 12. How are grasslands classified? Answer. Grasslands may be classified into steppes and savannas. In the steppes, the prevailing vegetation is grass. Like in the pampas of South America and in the prairies of North America, the fauna is mainly formed by herbivores, like rodents and ungulates. The savannas present small trees, like for example the Brazilian Cerrado or the African savannas. The fauna is diverse. In the Brazilian Cerrado there are animals like emus, lizards, armadillos, jaguars, etc., and many types of insects. The African savannas are the home of great herbivores and carnivores, like zebras, giraffes, antelopes, lions and leopards. Question 13. What are the typical vegetation and the typical fauna of the deserts? Answer. The predominant fauna of the desertic ecosystems is formed by reptiles like lizards and snakes, terrestrial arthropods and small rodents. In these areas plants very adapted to dry climate may be found like the cactus that are plants that do not have real leaves and thus lose less water along with grasses and bushes near places where water is available. Question 14. Which terrestrial vertebrate group is extremely rare in deserts? Answer. Amphibians are terrestrial vertebrates extremely rare in desertic environments. Although there are few species adapted to this type of ecosystem, amphibians are rare in deserts because they do not have permeable skin and so they easily lose water by evaporation and desiccate. They also need an aquatic environment to reproduce since their fecundation is external and their lava is water dependent. Question 15. What are plankton, nectan, and benthos? Answer. Plankton, nectan, and benthos are the three groups into which aquatic living beings may be divided. The plankton is formed by the algae and small animals that float near the water surface carried by the stream. The nectan is composed of animals that actively swim and dive in water like fishes, turtles, whales, sharks, etc. The benthos comprehends the animals ecologically linked to the bottom, including many echinoderms, Bentonic fishes, crustaceans, mollusks, peripherans and annelids.